Today here at Robert's Guitar Dungeon, we're checking out the Veteran 30 from Warehouse Guitar Speakers. This video came to be because when I bought this cabinet about a year and a half ago, the guy that I bought it from is a friend of mine, but he is a blues and uh, praise and worship type guitarist, and he plays tellies, and you know he just does a totally different thing from what I do. When he had this cabinet, he loaded it with a pair of vintage 1960s Lafayette Utah speakers that came out of uh, originally came out of a Fender or something or other back in back in those days and you know for somebody for somebody like him I can see why he would want those speakers and why he liked them they you know they would work very well for for his style of music and his style of playing for what I do I hate them I was doing some research on what kind of speakers I could put in there and I was gonna go with the Panamas I was gonna go with either the Panama AV30s or the D30s which are both Vintage 30 clones, the, the D30s I really, really liked. However, Panama seems to have discontinued them for the moment, and I can't get them. So, a uh, friend of mine had one of these warehouse veteran 30s. I've heard nothing but good things about the warehouse guitar speakers. All the demos online that I saw, and there's, and there's a lot of demos of guys pitting the warehouse, the veteran 30s against the vintage 30s, and all the demos that I heard, the veteran 30s actually sounded a little bit better, in my opinion. And unlike the Vintage 30s, they're not $150, $200 a piece either. These speakers run up about $70, $70 to $80 a piece. I ordered these from Guitar Center. I think they were listed at uh, either $70 or $80, bucks, $69 or $79 bucks a piece. I can't recall exactly. But... I knew I wanted to give them a shot. So, that is what we're gonna do. And the front looks like a regular little speaker, the back, and that's a giant sized magnet. Well, hopefully we can see that. That's what the back of it, that's what the back of it looks like. Anyway, I am going to replace, I'm gonna put these vintage 30 type speakers into this cabinet because the amp that I use with this cabinet the most is that Randall RD20. The Diablo series cabinet comes loaded with vintage 30s, so I know that those speakers, you know, this this head is voiced for those types of speakers. So I am going to give the warehouse guitar speakers a shot and see what happens. So I'm going to play through the amp real quick with the speakers that are in it with the Randall RD20 head just so that we can get a comparison and then I'm gonna swap the speakers and then we're gonna play through the amp again with the new speakers and see how it sounds.
Well, now that we've heard it, let's change the speakers out and see what it sounds like. Okay. It has now been a month since I filmed the first part of this video. The reason being is it was not easy swapping out the old speakers. The old screws that were holding them in were stripped out. The, uh, the wiring was a mess and needed all kinds of soldering work and I needed somebody to help me with that. And, but the new Veteran 30 speakers are now installed and ready to go. Let's give it a listen. Exact same amp on the exact same settings, same guitar, same tuning, same settings, everything. Let's see how it sounds. So in my opinion, a much better matching sound for this amp, my trusty old Roland RD20H Diablo series head, which is exactly what I was trying to accomplish. The Veteran 30 seemed to have a much rounder type of tone to them, uh, a lot more boosted mid-range as opposed to the Utah speakers that were in there were real trebly and had a lot of upper mid-range uh, and not a whole lot in the way of mid and lower mid range and low end. These speakers again have much more boosted mid range, but just a, maybe a tinge more high end than a, than an actual vintage 30 would, which is what these are designed to compete against. So overall, I'm very happy with my purchase. I think this cabinet is going to give me exactly what it is that I that I have been looking for. This is a cabinet that I do take out and gig with me from time to time, and it just didn't have the mid range before that was required to cut through a mix and now i think it will certainly do that any and all applicable links associated with this video will be down in the description below if you haven't already please consider sub to subscribing to my channel i upload videos every wednesday and saturday morning and please leave me your comments down below if you have any experience with any of the warehouse guitar speaker line i'd love to know what your experiences are and which which models you prefer more videos to come real soon thanks for watching If you're watching this video, most likely you're a musician. Most musicians were inspired by an event at some point in their lives to want to play music. However, what if that event still occurred but you had no means of your own to acquire your own instrument? There are thousands of people in your own community that would love to get involved in music but do not have the means to afford their own instrument. Please donate your broken or unwanted gear to my friends at Share the Music, where Share the Music will take those instruments, refurbish them, and give them to somebody just like us. 
and help change their lives for the better.